I-unbox na natin ang pod mic ng Rode. It's a dynamic podcasting microphone na talagang ginawa ng Rode for podcasting, for live streaming. It has a rich, balanced sound with an internal pop filter to minimize plosives, yung mga P, and internal shock mounting to reduce vibration. The pod mic is optimized to use with the Rodecaster Pro integrated podcast production console and of course sa, Ro- sa Rodecaster Pro 2 na gamit natin ngayon. It also offer exceptional results with any high quality microphone interface. So kahit anong interface naman ang gamit nyo kung hindi specific na Rode na mic. Ayun nyo guys. Ayun yung mga nakikita nyo sa mga nagpa-podcast sa mga Reels, sa mga Facebook and YouTube. So makikita nyo dito yung pod mic. It, yun nga yung internal puff filter. May broadcast quality siya. Rugged build at saka meron din siya pag bumili ka ng 2 years warranty. Ang kanyang SRP ay 8,750. Okay, guys? Alright, so na-insert na natin itong pod mic. And as you can see, you can already hear the difference between the SM58 Shure and this microphone. It Nasa description din naman na pwede siya sa any audio interface at may high quality naman talaga itong microphone na to. I have the budget. Ah. I, I would still go with the SM7B. But dun sa mga nag-umpisa pa lang naman sa podcasting, live streaming, pwede kayong gumamit nito. As in, mas better talaga siya sa SM58 Sure. I can really hear the difference between the two. And take note guys ha, naka-neutral pa tong settings na to. Nasa dynamic pa tong settings na to. Hindi pa siya naka-pod mic. Kasi di ba may settings tayo dito? Ayan guys, so nilagay na natin siya sa pod mic na settings. Ilalagay na natin ngayon doon sa podcast studio. Okay, nakaririnig niyo ba yung difference? Tapos dito sa broadcast quality. And hindi mo natin gagalawin yung mga advanced effects or advanced um, for for this microphone. Like yung noise gate or such na gano'n. Kasi meron naman siyang yung talagang original settings niya eh. Nakaano siya dito sa road. Can you hear guys? Nandito tayo sa mid-level of the microphone. And uh, uunti-untiin ko siyang itaas. Again, etong microphone na to is naka 50 dB. And yung SM58, sure kanina, yung settings talaga niya is 45 dB. General setting siya for the dynamic microphone. So, ayan, unti-unti ko itataas. At marinig nyo, guys, kahit itaas ko, sobrang minimal lang ng noise. Unlike this one, medyo may noise pa rin talaga siya. And sa sobrang... Okay yung sounds nitong microphone na. I was really blown away. Kasi nga, hindi ko expected. Kaya pala, ngayon, naiintindihan ko na why mostly ng mga napapalag kong podcast, ito ang gamit or yung SM7B. Yung pala is okay na okay yung tunog ng microphone. And I'm really loving it. At yung mga, may mga budget dyan, if you can go for SM7B, go for it. But if you don't have that kind of budget, you can go and buy this mic pod mic and see how it goes. Sobrang para sa akin okay na okay siya. I don't see myself buying SM7B soon. Siguro after mga ilang, I mean, next year or the next two years, I don't know. Uh, I'm happy with this and I'm gonna give you a review again after a month kasi di ba nag-promise ako ng second review with the Rodecaster Pro 2. Kasi nga syempre, yung pag-unbox ko nung nakaraang video is yun yung unang beses. At hindi ko pa siya masyadong nagagamit. Kaya kailangan mag-second review para may make sure natin na okay ba talaga tong product. Pero I'm really satisfied with it. I, I, I use it on my gaming sa Valorant. And natatawa yung mga kalaro ko kasi nag-iiba yung voice dahil dun sa vocals, sa effects niya. So it's really good so far. That's why, isasabay ko yung review nito at saka yung review nun sa susunod. Pagka okay na. Kung, I mean, lahat na ng issues, mga mag- magka-issues man or and everything, ilalagay natin yung sa reviews, guys. So, yun. And I hope doon sa mga nag-iisip pa lang, makapag-decide na kayo para makapag-start na rin kayo, ba? Pero, huwag din kayo magmadali if wala walang budget. Um, Siyempre, unahin nyo yung priorities nyo. Like yung sinabi ko nung nakaraang vlog, vlog about sa Roadcaster Pro 2. And now guys, if you have any reactions, questions, or comments, i-comment nyo lang below. At nagbabasa ako ng comment, nagre-reply din ako dyan. And I will appreciate if, if you like this video and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, um, thank you for watching and see you on our next video. Goodbye!